Hmm. They say one that shall never cease to end up. Full and youth don't come out. They said they will unleash more insecurity on Nigerians if the federal government of Nigeria did not release Mieti Hala a president. You can imagine. Nigeria has become a no man's land that people can just come and talk and do whatever they like. Imagine this kind of talk. So are they trying to tell us that they are the architect of insecurity in Nigeria now? And they continue to deny, to deny it, saying they will unleash terror on Nigeria if the government did not release the Mieti Hala leader in the first place. Waiting, he do when they take arrest him. Now, like that, they take the judge matter. You know, go just come, oh, he they were our leader, this and this and that. I recall last year, this man stands on Mazen Namdekano when organizing Digbo was asking the president to release Mazen Namdekano as he don't enter, you know, as another government enter. They deter President Bola Metunubo to release Mazen Namdekano from detention. This man tap in leg for grand. He say, heaven go lose. Health go, this health when we do so, go scatter. If Tunubu dares release Bazen Namdekan, that is why then they talk, say, you don't know tomorrow, be careful with your words. Because you don't know what is going to be for you tomorrow. Now, you don't still enter detention. In people now, don't they talk, release her. Release her. You understand? So, it don't happen with this. Make we even hit the news. Make we know what these people don't talk, say they won't do, and how they want they go about it, and what they have asked the federal government of Nigeria to do concerning the Mieti Hala president, Paul Dijo. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. I beg, share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening in the Nigerian political landscape. The Fulani Youth Association of Nigeria has threatened to drag the Nigerian army to court over the prolonged detention of Mieti Hala leader Alaji Adulai Bello Bodijo. The association said the continued detention of Bodijo by the Nigerian army without trial smart of impunity of the highest order and their lawyers are warming up to this matter. Record that Body Joe was apprehended for his involvement in establishing the Nomad Vigilante Group in Lafia, the capital of Nasarawa State, on January 17. During the group's inauguration, he expressed his main goals, which includes safeguarding the well-being of farmers and headers, assisting in information collection for Nigeria security agencies regarding criminal activities and promoting peace in rural areas. The group in a statement issued on Friday by its convener, Ambassador Mohammed Suleiman, said that the Nigerian army has no constitutional power to detain any person beyond 24 hours. The group called on President Bola Tinubu to intervene and order the immediate release of Eda's Union uh, president. Otherwise, the group said the Nigerian army is not empowered by our laws to detain any citizen. The police and the DSS are the only ones with the power to detain a citizen. Keeping a large body jewel for this long period is illegal. The army should hand over our leader to the police or the DSS and grant him records of whatever they are investigating by this illegal act. The army is going outside its constitutional duty. We call on President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to, as a matter of urgency, order the immediate release of Bello Bodijo. The Nigerian army had no constitutional power to detain any person beyond 24 hours without charging him or her to court. Therefore, the detention of our leader, Alaji Adulai Bello Bodijo, is aligned to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. 
He said, if the army has any evidence against Bello Bodijo committing an offense known to law, he should be arraigned before a competent court subjecting him to illegal detention is an infringement on his fundamental human right as enshrined in the Constitution. The Nigerian security apparatus, which is known for its professionalism, the respect of, of uh, a law, of rule of law should demonstrate such uh, acquaintance known to it by granting the president of the Mietihala category, Alaji Adulai Bodijo, his constitutional right as a law abiding citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and should be allowed to go home as his continued detention is illegal and unconstitutional. Now, now these people go no waiting matter day for Nigeria. It is say these people that they hear what hey, they don't they count two years for this place when it don't they now. Now like this it they start. <laughs> so made them tie their beds very well because this man don't enter, they say don't enter. They go release them. Hmm. Okay. Well, made them investigate. Make we see how things are fruit. But what you go they make them? They go they make I not just go there. I'm not just man not shake table for you. Hmm? Man, not shake table. They should just be praying for his release. Mm -hmm. They should just be praying for his release. Now, may them go to pray. Now, pray out. <laughs> now, pray out. This time around, now, pray out. May them go to pray. May them release Sam. Uh -huh. I beg, make a drop out for you. How now, see Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.